me why we have normalized nakedness on the internet. In today's video, we're going to talk about things that social media has deemed normal but actually not normal. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed because we have a good time on this channel. This is pretty much my favorite series on my channel, talking about the things that social media have deemed normal in our current or modern day society. And to me, they are not normal. When this topic is on the table, I talk let's just jump right into the video i'm coming to you bald headed because as i speak to you guys about the topic i'm also going to be installing and styling my hair it's been a long time i worked with love me hair it's been a couple of months and i've missed them so much because if you're not new on this channel you know me and love me hair we go like this i'm so excited for this wig because it's also my first time trying out a 13 by 5 wig this is how the box comes the wig comes packaged like this it has the wig which we'll get into in a few seconds inside the box comes a wig bag i think this is a headband or like an edge band and then it comes with a bonnet with a wig cap and then just instruction cards on how to take care of the wig but let's get into this wig because looking at it straight out of the box this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box you guys can see that i haven't touched it it comes pre-bleached which i can see that it is absolutely done like it's done to perfection the wig comes pre-plucked also comes pre-styled the curls look amazing so this is going to be a pretty quick install inside the wig is properly done properly made just how i like my wig caps and wig construction to look like i'm gonna install my wig today with the ebon spray this is the wig on my head i haven't done anything to it yet you all see this part it is snatched But this is how the hair turned out. It didn't take me no time at all. You guys saw the install process. It was literally one, two, three. I went ahead and redefined the curls, but I left the part. I left it pretty much the way the wig came. If you're looking for a nice, good quality, affordable wig, go down to the description box. I'm going to have the direct link to the wig down below. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you check this wig out. Now, the first thing I want to talk about, and I think I've touched on a little bit in a couple of my videos, is kids having kids nowadays. It's the way social media have normalized children literal kids having kids honestly it's been around for a good five six years now where i have watched a lot of videos i have seen people glamorize kids giving birth to kids and it's crazy to me because i don't really understand it someone who is 13 14 16 having a baby while i understand that there are some circumstances that are pretty much out of our control or out of their control there are so many tragic situations that make kids you know fall pregnant at a certain age there are so many reasons why kids get pregnant these days i understand that i'm talking about the ones that consciously have kids at a young age when i say consciously you're thinking like oh who would ever consciously at a certain age when they are not ready have kids trust me the things on social media right now are shocking to me too so yes that's the thoughts that would normally come to your mind when it's like oh who intends to have a baby at such a young age 13 14 15 16 yeah but when you indulge in adult activities without properly knowing what you're doing those things happen and now Nowadays, with the way the society is with peer pressure and everything not having sexual intercourse at an early age is kind of looked on as you being slow society will kind of make it seem like if you're not doing certain things at a certain age you're behind you're far behind you're not living life you're not enjoying life and this is where kids tend to fall into these things these habits thinking that it's normal to do things at this certain age so they get themselves in situations like this it's just like the skincare situations where kids are online right now you know using adult skincare because they feel like that's what they should be doing at this point in their life they feel like if they don't have these products they are missing out on something but these are adult things that you only get to experience at a certain age i've mentioned a lot of times like kids don't really have that full-on grow up experience i just feel like kids come into this world and they start doing adult things that's just how i feel that's how i see like there are a lot of 13 year olds 14 year olds 15 year olds that have instagram tiktok pages youtube pages vlogging their life living like adult 
adults like literally living with their boyfriends and their kids how is this even normal and how are people even sharing this on in the comment section and i understand that sometimes they need the encouragement because obviously they're kids but at the same time i'm just like where are your parents how are two 15 year olds or two 14 year olds living together in the same apartment and they have a baby that they're raising they are kids do you know what i was doing at 14 15 i don't even think i knew how to put on my shoes properly at 14 15 it's one thing to birth a child at such an early age and then i'm also like showing my life and trying to encourage other youngins to do the exact same thing because whether you like it or not glamorizing that kind of life on social media kind of inspires the younger generation to do the exact same thing that you did again i keep asking where are their parents like where are your parents? I said this a million times, parenting in our modern day world, parenting in 2024, we need to talk about it a little bit more because people are actually taking a piss. The reason why parenting is quite different now, why it seems so casual and so lighthearted and all that is because kids are having kids. A lot of people that have kids nowadays are kids themselves. They've not really matured to the point where they can actually raise another human being. So when you complain about parenting nowadays, it's because of this who do you think is egging it on it's because the kids themselves don't know the difference between what to do as an adult and what to do as a kid so when they as kids have kids their kids will be misled misguided basically sometimes i see videos that make it seem like you know having a kid is an aesthetic which we're going to talk about aesthetics later how is having a baby aesthetics obviously you see people make it look cool online people vlog their lives they didn't go to college they didn't go to uni they don't have a job their job is social media and then they have kids this particular topic can actually be a whole video let's move on to the next thing because i feel like it kind of ties hand in hand the baby mama culture i'm talking about the ones that see baby mama culture having a baby for someone out of wedlock they see it as luxury they see it as glamour the perfect life the carefree life living freely type of lifestyle people are trying to stay away from the conventional ways of doing things or the conventional ways of living life they start doing certain things that are just completely out of the norm and then they try to normalize it to make it seem like it makes sense to me it doesn't make any sense i'm a very very traditional person and even being very traditional there are still certain things that i'm fluid with there are certain modern lifestyle that i'm okay with and i incorporate into my daily living my lifestyle my relationship and everything but you see these things leaving your boyfriend in mind you're dating whatever it is which is another topic on its own and this having children having kids at a really really young age having a baby for a man without actually getting married to the man you see these things will never ever 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 be normal to me i would always frown on it i would always side eye you i'm so sorry i'm that girl especially when it is your choice especially when this is something that you are the one that called upon yourself because why these days we say a lot of things about dating how dating has changed how people no longer date for the right reason dating is hell dating is this the streets are this da, da, da. we talk about this a lot but then to be honest with you we are also the reason why men have their issues aside but we men we also are the reason why there are some certain things that you need to be reinforced forcing in your life there are certain things that you know you deserve but you consciously intentionally go the other way or accept less or accept to be in certain situations that are compromising i feel like the main reason why it is so glamorized nowadays is because the people that we look up to so the public figures the influencers celebrities they actually live this life and they make it look like everything is okay or this life is so beautiful raising kids like in separate homes co-parenting is one thing that i hear a lot people say freely they say it loosely in fact they enjoy it in fact that's what they want being a baby mama has quickly become a get rich quick scheme it's become that ticket to luxury to the perfect life to all the riches to financial stability to financial freedom just by having a kid the reason why baby mama culture is so popular and glamorized is because of child support and let's be honest about it there are a lot of kids nowadays that are going through so many hardships mentally physically emotionally especially mentally and emotionally and these are the reasons why you don't know why your kid is like this this is why they're like this they come from a home where they don't see love sometimes i just wish that we could just press a button erase all the rubbish that we've done so far and start again this thing called life that we're living right now something is not right because why would somebody just come and tell me like oh all i want from that man is a baby people really chase the bag so much to the point that they use kids to chase bag like you want to have a kid with that man because you know that you can get money from him that is such a selfish reason to have a child that is such a selfish reason to bring a child into this world because child's father has money to give you want to enjoy the perks of having a rich baby daddy or a celebrity baby daddy that's the reason why you bring a whole ass 
human being into this life there's also the aspect of women having kids for men in the hopes that the man will marry them at some point so if i give him a baby he's more inclined to marry me sis you're wasting your time if the man didn't marry you when you guys were dating what would make him want to change his mind when you guys have a whole baby together if you value yourself enough you want better for yourself there are certain things that you will not indulge you know you will not allow somebody to do to you until you see that from a man until you get that from a man he doesn't get certain things from you and that's on period i can never ever ever be okay with that because if i'm not as embedded in this man's life i don't see any reason why there should be any ties with us like if you and i cannot get to that point in life you're not the one for me so i'm not lingering around you by having a baby with you staying in your life by having a baby with you like what the hell not setting boundaries are the reason why we end up in situations that we don't have any business ending up in you're the one taking care of the baby you're the one that's going to be with the baby most of the time these men get to live their lives they get to hop from women to women while you're the one stuck with a baby you know what really pains me about this particular culture women are so okay having kids for men that already have kids you will see a man that already has six baby mamas i'm so sorry even if he has two that's a huge red flag and then you come into the picture and decide to be another baby mama to him why i'm not saying that it's not okay to date someone with kids it's definitely okay to date someone with kids it's okay to marry someone with kids but i don't really understand the thought process when you decide to have another kid with someone that already has kids i know there are people that live peacefully with this arrangement kudos to you if that's the life that you live in the choice that you have made what you want for your kids having a happy home having my children see love in their home having a two-parent household will never grow out of style for me i am so sorry i judge okay i judge the ones that this is what they want they want their kids to live in this kind of home they want their kids to live in a broken home i will judge and i'm gonna judge with my chest because love is beautiful i don't care what 2024 says and brings the heartache the heartbreak the nonsense on these streets love marriage will always be in style will always be attractive will always be the end goal will always always be valuable now the next thing i want to talk about is naked get ready with me if i don't talk about this particular topic wouldn't you think that i'm missing something out tell me why we have normalized nakedness on the internet make it make sense tell me why somebody will have a get ready with me like you're dressing up in camera which is really cool but why do you have to come on camera with g-strings and for men that do it they come literally like with their briefs like their actual underwear there are people that come in their defense and say oh but we wear bikinis bikinis are completely different your bikini isn't the same thing as your underwear your bikini you do not wear under your jeans and your top there's a difference between having bikini on and having your underwear on it disgusts me so much that even if the outfit looks good so the result looks good i just write you off there are much more professional ways to come on camera and show us an outfit than come on camera naked i think a lot of people have even taken it up and not they use this in my opinion to sell themselves some of them actually take a few seconds or a few minutes to spin turn around on the camera show us their nice butt chick they turn and spin i'm like girl can you get to the point show us the top and the jeans and the bag that you want to show us like why do you keep spinning on the camera as if we haven't seen boobs and ass before nowadays people look for the slightest opportunity to come on this app and be a nuisance to me it is just actual foolery like where did the decency go to where did your body being sacred go to these days people don't even respect their bodies anymore i see it as you don't care who sees your private part you don't care how you show up on camera you don't care who invades your space and your privacy you attract the wrong type of audience to you you also attract the wrong type of people to you the wrong type of opportunities you attract the wrong type of energy in your life when you do some certain stupid things like this like things that you don't think would matter in your life or have an effect in your life or your personality your character as a person you don't really think these things matter they do you don't know who's watching i always say this thing social media is a very dangerous place you don't know what opportunity that you might have later you don't know what tables you might be sitting later on in life all these apps could decide one day that they don't want to walk again then we have to go back to traditional ways of doing things but people already see you people already know you people have your videos saved you might be there closing doors for yourself just because you want to do a get ready with me video on tiktok instagram or youtube your peace your dignity your value as a human being especially as a woman i don't think these type of things should be 
what would compromise those in your life how you look is how people address you before you open your mouth or get to know you what you do online is how they judge you what they see you doing your actions is how they judge you when i say this a lot of people their feathers get ruffled they're just like what do you mean that's a shallow way of thinking how you that you are getting triggered by what i just said how do you view people before you get to know them you assess them by how they look and sometimes if you don't like how they look if you don't like the vibe you get you write them off completely that might be shallow to you but then that's how life works that's how human beings are wired and created now the next thing i want to talk about is stanley cups i might be dragged for this but somebody has to say it. you don't need that stanley cup i understand the efficiency of stanley cups but you guys need to stop I don't see why you need to spend that much money on a cup. Social media kind of pushes things in your face and I feel like it also comes from a point of belonging. I want to also be part of, you know, the people that have Stanley Cups. If nobody's going to say it, I'm going to say this to you right now. Those Stanley Cups, to be honest with you, are made for a different type of people or certain types of people. You as an everyday girl, sis, I don't see the efficiency of the Stanley Cup. I'm speaking from my perspective, Sha, I might be wrong, but a Stanley Cup will not be efficient to me. I have a regular nine to five job. I don't know if they have like extra rope. To me, it's too bulky. There are certain reasons why I'm not gonna have a Stanley Cup because I feel like a Stanley Cup, you need to have a car because I'm not carrying that big thing and walking up and down. Stanley Cups in general, they've been around for the longest time. They were supposed to be for like a certain group of workers construction workers i know for a fact that it wasn't made for you to be carrying up and down so i guess the clean girl aesthetic girlies you know fitness aesthetic girlies i don't know who made it viral i didn't really do my research on the standard cups to be honest because it's not my reality like these cups are not my reality and i just feel like why you see trends will be the downfall of most of us which leads to my next thing aesthetics the aesthetics era everything must be you know a certain way for it to be generally accepted you must look a certain way for you to be accepted you must behave a certain way for you to be accepted there are different trends there is actually the eat girl the that girl the clean girl the this to be honest with you i feel like it's just a marketing strategy because essentially they all mean the same thing it is you you watching me you are the one really taking it overboard when someone says i want to be that girl i want to be an it girl they don't literally mean like the picture that you are looking at you being that exact person what they mean is you need to take care of yourself fine they'll give you tips i will give you tips because i have that girl tips i have it girl tips i've spoken about those things those are just like catchy words they are catchy phrases in my opinion but essentially they all mean the same thing you doing better with your life you mentally glowing up you physically glowing up you taking care of your body hygiene self-care but i think where people miss the point is they literally want the exact same life as the person that is asking them to do certain things having a clean look is what they call a clean girl aesthetic right doesn't necessarily mean that the hairstyle the slick back ponytail hairstyle that is associated with the clean girl look you must also have you can have a bald head and still have that clean girl look or clean girl aesthetic i think people just take aesthetics too far now there's also another aspect of like lifestyle aesthetics so basically what kind of apartment do you live in what kind of car you drive the entire life aesthetic thing that gets me really bothered i have spoken about it i think in part one of this video the aesthetics of being an influencer there are people who not want to live in a certain apartment they will stretch themselves to get certain apartments just because that's aesthetically pleasing that's a lifestyle that you don't need there are certain things that are very very popular online and they call it a certain thing or a certain name and then you strive so hard to look exactly like the person that started the trend. Like if it means for you to have a bigger lip like her so that you can have that exact same look, you will go and get it. You want to look and live the exact same way that somebody is. I saw on TikTok the other day when they were calling out a lady that literally painted all her kids' toys to beige neutral colors because she needed it to blend with the furniture of the house so that it can look good in videos. Isn't that crazy? You take away the fun from your kids playing with toys because you want it to blend with the videos that you make in your house so something that's supposed to be yellow red rainbow that kids will get excited about you turned it to black turned it to white you turned it to beige but people are taking this aesthetics too far the aesthetic obsession sis it is so real now the last thing i want to talk about are two words narcissist and toxic those two words are overly used they are abused if i hear someone 
say toxic or narcissist one more time i can scream because everyone is toxic everything is toxic everyone is a narcissist do you even know the meaning they literally do it to a point that it becomes meaningless these are very serious dangerous like mental situations life problems psychological problems these are illnesses and then nowadays you see somebody say oh it's a narcissist do you know the meaning of a narcissist if you really really experienced a narcissist in your life do you think it would be that easy for you to come out and say narcissist people that have actually been with toxic narcissists in their life right you can never ever wish that on yourself if you see someone that have actually been through that situation you will not even use the word again in your life because you don't really understand the gravity of the word that you're using they devalue those words to the point that the people that are actually narcissists that are actually toxic don't even know how bad their situation is because they just assume that it's a common word that people use for literally everything they don't really know that they need work to be done on themselves they don't really know how bad their situation is because we have normalized the words you come in here to open your mouth wow on the internet and say i went to a toxic situation i was a narcissist you don't even know what you're saying a huge problem that you should never wish on yourself you were not with a narcissist maybe you were with someone with bad character or had character flaws that's misdiagnosis because they are not narcissists they have issues quite all right but they're not narcissists they have issues quite all right but they're not toxic we literally attract the exact situation into our life because we are calling it. We're speaking about it so much, it's coming into our life. We're addressing everything that we go through, every hardship, every negative situation that we have with someone as those words, as those things. We unintentionally attract those things to us. Before you diagnose someone of something, try and understand the situation they are really going through or try and understand your own situation with that person, your experience with that person before you go ahead and diagnose them of what they never had and what they would never have or before you go there and also pull that bad situation to yourself i'm glad i was able to get those things out of my chest so let me know your thoughts about these things in the comment section below follow me on my socials you guys i have a new tiktok i'm going to have it linked below please 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 go ahead and follow me support your girl i'm going to have fresh content on my tiktok so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye listening in your car at your job are you at home i don't care where you at Turn this up right now, cause we're about to go in. Hey, sit